tutorial I will teach you how to make an EPUB3 ebook. First you need these two software EGS 5.1 expand it. Once you extract it, it will appear as a folder. And the other software you need is Blue Griffin. To install it, just click agree with the installation. Just step through the installer and allow it to be installed in the computer. So now you have these two software, Blue Griffin. And let's launch Blue Griffin. Close the tab and maximize it. And you will see that you need to create a XHTML5 new document, agree with it. And you can go and populate your text. So let's say I took it from my existing notes. So you select the text that you want, copy it, and use the notepad to paste it inside to remove all the editings. And you paste it inside the notepad, copy it again. And now you paste it into your Blue Griffin text editor. You can do some minor editing such as headings, some formattings, and very importantly, you need to use the tools button to remove all the markup errors. So let's say you're comfortable with this particular text as part of your ebook. You select a particular text as your title, so I can save it and save it in the location where you're going to populate or your EGSS simulation as well as the accessory files that goes with the simulation. Now you're going to open EGSS by double clicking on EGS console. It will appear with the console and the editor will appear. Now you select the simulation that you want and under the description page of the simulation you may want to create a new HTML page or the XHTML page. So I'm going to move it to the front and I'm going to modify the page by linking it to the file which I just created using Blue Griffin. So I save it under the two body orbits and that, that will be the XHTML. And even though the formatting is not very pleasant, it appears that it's wrong, but actually when you generate as an EPUB, it will be very nicely done in the EPUB format. So now you need to go back to Blue Griffin and always check that you do this thing called the mark cleanup markup errors. And once there's no more errors, you just save it again. And then you go back to EGSS, make sure you refresh it, though it's not that really necessary. Now compile the simulation by clicking on the package and agree to save it and then you can export it as a new simulation because now it has all these pages okay now you can select package for epub now select the several simulation models that you have previously been doing so you just go back to so for me i like to do uh do by sorting by date of modification so that i always can sift through the uh newest simulation so for example these are some of the simulation that you want to add into your new epub3 ebook or ebook chapter let's say these are the few that you want then you select open and you can even do a reordering of the various pages uh, accompanied by the simulation then you typically i will create a flag structure include the html is very important so that ejss will know that these are the pages that you want to be read on the epub select uh, ebook cover for example i just chose some typical picture the title will be the title of your book and author obviously will be yourself and then you can click on OK and EGSS will move on to generate this. So you may want to select a, a name for your EPUB. So for example, this is a gravity book uh, done by Lu Kang and I would like to generate it. And then you can see that in the EGS console is trying to convert all the text in the description pages 
and it will work very well if it's already in X HTML pages. And you can see that now the EPUB has been successfully generated. And as a test of whether this simulation works, I'm going to go to my Chrome browser, select the apps uh, called Redium, which is an EPUB3 reader add-on. And you can see that I'm going to add it to my library. So select the file that I previously generated, which is in your export. And again, I want to sort by date so that I can find the EPUB very quickly. And you can see it is importing it and then it will appear somewhere, probably at the bottom of the library. And you can click on it to launch it like as if this is a normal iPad or Android tablet. And you can now interact with the materials as if like this is an ebook. Okay, now there's an error here, which is quite common because the pages were not correctly rendered, which is because this clearing out of the markup errors is very important. And you can see that now this simulation can be fully interacted with in the EPUB format.